Hello everyone, lots of videos circulating in the YouTube stating that Youth Mobility Scheme for India is starting on 1st of Jan 2022. We will see whether that is true and also they have mentioned few other details uh, in the government website. What are the things you need to do for the Youth Mobility Scheme? This is just an update for Youth Mobility Scheme specifically for India. Hope this helps you uh, sa saving time or watching other videos which is stating that Youth Mobility Scheme is starting on 1st of Jan. Welcome to my channel. This is Sundar Ayyapan. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my videos. Hope this video helps you what is going to happen on 1st of jan 2020 is a amendment is being added into the tire 5 uh, youth mobility scheme that is already tire 5 temporary worker visa is there available for indians what the uk government is doing is they are amending that into youth mobility scheme for india from 1st of jan that's the only thing happening on 1st of jan there is no ballot and you cannot apply on 1st of jan 2022 and there is no email to apply uh, 1st of jan 2022 that's the main thing you mean to make sure there is no ballot open for india from 1st of jan 2022 that details is yet to be announced if a ballot is going to be open for india for youth mobility scheme they will definitely give three to four weeks notice that is three weeks four, three to four weeks before the opening date of ballot they will inform in the government website that this, this is the 48 hour window you need to apply that uh, youth mobility scheme that is the you need to give a expression of interest to the home office through the email which i have shared in the previous uh, email video which i put the link in the description so that you have to send that the details your, your details as per the details i said in the previous video so that date is not yet announced ballot for indian youth mobility scheme is not at announced first of january is not the date so please make sure you watching other videos they are mentioning first of jan but they are not telling about any email address or any ballot details so government is waiting or government is not at announced the date that's one thing you need to be very sure first of jan is not the start date of youth mobility scheme ballot so youth mobility scheme as of UK is considered as cultural exchange program for 18 to 30 years old people to come and work in the UK and experience a life in UK without any need for sponsorship. This route is not for settlement. You cannot bring your dependents in this route. The fees for this uh, visa is £244. So that is the visa fee. That is cheapest visa fees in the UK visa system, not, not considering the tourist visa. £1,248 you need to pay for as a health surcharge. That is for two years. The health surcharge keeps on, keeps on increasing. Health surcharge is one to four eight pounds per person only one person can apply this visa that's for two years health surcharge two three five zero pounds you need to keep as a maintenance of funds you need to show two thousand three hundred fifty pounds as maintenance of funds to uh, while applying for the visa which should be in your bank account for 28 days you need to have a statement as i mentioned expression of interest dates are not announced when it is announced it will be open for two days and then the home office will select the applicants in random so it's going to be random they're not going to select based on your quality qualification or based on your education so they're just going to select in random after you are selected in random and you will get an email notification you have to apply then they will decide whether to give you visa or not that doesn't mean that if you are selected in the in the visa ballot doesn't mean that you will be given visa after that you need documentation your experience and then education should be uh, well qualified in the sense as per the requirement for other countries like australia japan uh, and new zealand there is very less requirement for uh, education and uh, experience for india they have added some extra education and requirement you have you need to do rfq six level education that is rfq uk six level education in india that that equals to around a bachelor degree any bachelor degree that's one thing than education and also you need to show three years you need to show three years work experience the work experience should be in the areas as detailed in the appendix of shortage occupation list it's not that all the occupation can be eligible for this visa as per the skilled worker occupation list you need to match that skill in your experience so you need to show three years work experience and then three years work experience can be shown as a pay slips you can show as a pay slip the pay slip should be attested properly by your by the company which you have issued the uh, pay slip that's one thing and second thing is or or you need to show a, a letter from the employer that is the, the, where you are working that you have worked for three years in the company letterhead that's also a requirement either pay slips or a letter from the company stating that you have worked in three years in that company with that uh, in, in the professional qualification a quick update what i said in this video is first of january is not starting date for youth mobility scheme for india that is not the ballot date ballot dates for youth mobility scheme is not yet announced uk government will give at least three to four weeks of time 
before the start of uh, ballot days that will be announced in the government website so i will put a video when the actual ballot date that is the expression of interest dates are announced in the uk for U youth mobility scheme visa for india so the, the delay in this scheme is mainly because india is also going to take 3000 UK applicants because of that the both governments wants to announce on the same day that may be the reason they are delaying but 1st of Jan is not the expression of interest or ballot start date for youth mobility scheme. Hope this video helps you information circulating in the YouTube regarding the 1st of Jan start date as a youth mobility scheme that's not the start date. Hope this information helps you. You will see in the next video until then take care bye.